Hey, I'm Andrew Boucher with uh, Boucher Valley Farms, back again with our market garden. And uh, now we're moving forward to making our rows and walkways. Last time we put our stakes in to mark where our rows and walkways were gonna be and also built our trenches to allow the water to drain off. So now uh, that it's dried up, we can actually get to work building our walkways, having our rows and covering those up with our weed barrier so we can stop the intrusive weeds from trying to take over the garden. Let's go out there and let's get to work. So uh, we thought we had a little more strength in us. We were digging our walkways, which we did about six and 45 minutes because of how compacted our soil is after the monsoon-like rains we've had in, here in Missouri the last several days. We are having to do the one time till we set up with our no-till garden. Um, I know that sounds counterintuitive, but whenever you're first making up your garden, you will have to till up your soil to make it workable because it is too compacted. So we're gonna use this to lift our beds build up those mounds and have the elevation difference between our walkways and our rows. And we're gonna cover those rows with our cover uh, to keep the weeds out. So use this, save our backs, and uh, we'll get to work, get it done in an hour as opposed to a week. So let's get to work. All right, so we are out here, we got our, our rows made, and we're gonna lay out our cover over here, this weed barrier, and we use our chalk. And we're marking out the spacing that we want for our, our rows. And here we're gonna be intercropping, so I'm gonna have three plants per row on this one. So all I'm gonna do is take an X, mark it, an X, mark it, an X, and mark it. So later on, I'll use a, a torch to help burn those holes through there so we can plant in there so we can only have the exposed ground where we want to put our either plant starters or seeds so we're not exposing more soil to the elements and to the weeds. We don't want those to be successful, so we'll get to it. So we just finished covering up most of the rows. We still have a few left to go through. Uh, with a garden this size, it is a multi-day process. So I'll be finishing up those tonight once the sun is set and it's no longer as hot. Uh, the next process we'll be going through, we're using our uh, mulch to cover up down our, our walkways. So it can help hold down the rest of that weed barrier so it doesn't get blown away and prepare it so it's more aesthetically pleasing and helps prevent weeds. So. We'll see you in the next one when we'll have that done and we'll get ready to begin laying our seeds in and our crops that have already been started. So, get to work. Mm -hmm. 